Hey guys, welcome back to your wine girl. So we are live on Wine Wednesday. Um, welcome. Thank you for coming. <laughs> okay, so as you can see behind me, guys, um, I'm doing a canned wine today. So I'm kind of combining my uh, Wine Wednesday tasting and my canned wine series that I'm doing at the same time. Also, on another note, I am also live on Instagram. So if you guys are unable to see me on Facebook or want to see me also on Instagram, it's my first live stream on Instagram. So thank you guys for joining me. Um, so to continue, we are doing the House Wine uh, Rosé. Ta-da! All right, so a lot of you guys are probably familiar with house wine. You've seen it before. Um, it looks just like the bo uh, just like the can right here. Um, the bottle is basically just this simple label right here, usually black and white, and then it says house wine. It either says white or red, and then I guess we've got rosé. So I have always enjoyed the house wine label. I have yet to have the rosé um, in a can or a bottle. And I really like House Wine just because they are an inexpensive line and they really are just pure delicious. Um, you can usually find them just about anywhere that wine is sold. Um, so I feel like this, guys, is really what will speak to you the most because this is what I'm all about. You know, wine that is inexpensive but you will enjoy and we learn a little bit more about it. Okay, so for those of you that are new to House Wine, House wine is actually from Walla Walla in Washington, and um, they make great wines. Their labels are very simple. As you can see on the back, it just says the original house wine gives you a little bit of detail about the rosé. Um, it says that it's crisp, juicy, and refreshing. So, I mean, nice, simple, I love it. And we are looking about 11.5% alcohol. So, so much fun. Okay, and like I did on my last can wine series, guys, um, and I'm going to try to do on every can wine series as well, um, I do from the can first. So I'm going to drink from the can. And remember, we try to clean the top a little bit before we drink just because it's a can. Then I will sip it with my straw and see how it tastes through there. And then I will do with a glass and see how it tastes with that. So, let's start first on the can. And by the way, guys, this can was about $6.99 where I purchased it. And so we're talking about anywhere, I would say, give or take a couple of dollars. So you're looking at 6 to maybe $8 for a can. And it is sold by the singles. And it is 375 milliliters. Just getting it right, guys. So that means that it is... Um, 375 milliliters just means that it is a split, which means it is half a bottle of wine. So if we're doing half a bottle of wine, that means that it's basically going to be about two glasses that you can get out of here. Uh, standard size. Could get a little bit more, could get a little bit less. And my scientist fell, but that is okay. <laughs> Tape only works for so long, guys. So we'll just take this out of the shop for right now. I mean, y'all saw my lovely sign, though. <laughs> okay. All right. So, here we are. Now let's try it from the can first. Oh, that's tasty. That is really tasty. Okay. It's actually quite good out of the can, guys, which I'm really loving. So, Hello, and by the way, hello to Steam Whistle Lover and Girls on Grape, Girls Gone Grape, excuse me, on Instagram. Thank you for joining me and Ron. So, as we were saying, man, this is really delicious. All right, guys, so straight from the can. This rosé is, it is just like the label actually says. It is crisp, juicy, and re juicy and refreshing. Um, wow, I'm really loving this. Um, 
Now, the only thing is I don't really get a lot of on the nose up front. Um, last time when we did the canned wine, we didn't get a lot of, I did get actually a lot of aroma when I opened it. This, not so much. I get kind of like a little bit of a whetstone kind of aroma to it. But other than that, I'm not getting a whole bunch of aroma-wise. Um, but taste-wise, man, this is awesome. So very, very, like, just smooth all the way throughout, guys. Um, it is like a simple rosé. That's the best way to put it. It's not like it's real, lack of a better word, fancy, like a French Provence rosé where it's got, you know, Sometimes your Provence rosés are very, um, I lack of a better word, intense, because um, you can have like the really the crispness to it, and then you can have really intense alcohol, and you, you get all these different layers on the some of the Provence rosés, and you're like, okay, it's good, but I want something a little bit more easier drinking. This is this is it. I'm really loving this, guys. Um, just very smooth. You get a lot of that strawberry taste. You get ooh. You get the strawberry. You get kind of like a watered down cherry. Um, tiny, tiny bit of melon. Like a tiny little bit of lemon and melon with it, guys. So, and it's just a nice little finish to it. Doesn't drag, uh, doesn't have a long lingering finish, it's very short, which I kind of like in some rosés just because it makes you want to drink more and then you're like, ah, it's just nice and refreshing. Okay, so I will say delicious from the can. Okay, now we gotta be fancy, the straw. <laughs> so like I said, guys, I like to try it from the straw because sometimes when you are drinking canned wine, um, you want to try it from the straw, maybe it's easier, um, especially maybe if it's red wine, you don't want to spill it, even if it is in a can, it could always happen. Um, and plus, we talked about how some of the can wines out there, um, like Sofia Coppola, she makes it to where you do drink it with the straw. So, we got to keep it classy. <laughs> Alright, so let's try it from the straw. And hello, I love werewolves. Thank you for joining me on Instagram. Okay, so through the straw. Actually, I gotta say, I don't really like it through the straw. I like it better from the can. <laughs> so from the can, I don't get, okay, so from the can, like I said earlier, it's just a nice, smooth, has a nice short finish, it's very refreshing. With the straw, I kind of get a little bit of that alcohol tartness at the end that I didn't went that I didn't get it when I tried it from the can. So but you do get a little bit more flavor. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. I still say that I like it from the can so far. All right, guys. So, not so bad. Now let's try it in the glass. Okay. So in the glass. Hello, my Instagram people. And hello, Facebook. So. It's beautiful in the glass. I love this color. It's just a nice, like, light pink, light rosé color. It's beautiful. Um, before I could even see what it looked like in the can, um, before we poured it out, I this is the color I would imagine that it would be from the, just from the taste. So, okay. Hmm. So I would say that that's more of like a light salmon color. Um, has a clear rim to it. I actually get a lot of yeast on the nose. Oh. 
Okay. So it's a toss up between I like it in the can and I like it poured out. Okay, so poured out in the glass, we get I get kind of the same taste, how it's just nice, smooth, refreshing. It has kind of it has more of a crisp finish to it when it's poured out into the glass than it does versus the can and especially through the straw. Man, it's just really, really refreshing. Light. But see now, you get more of the vanilla. Like there's a little bit of that vanilla, like creamy vanilla aroma and taste on it. Actually just more of the taste. Still get that cherry, a little bit of that watered down cherry and the strawberry. And that melon's a little bit more prominent to it. Man, this is just pure deliciousness, guys. I'm loving this. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so the house wine rose from the can. I have to say, guys. This is pretty delicious. So far out of our canned wine series that I've done, it is really, really tasty. This is probably my favorite so far. Um, it's not because I love rosés, which I do, but um, I'm kind of picky when it comes to rosés, so this is really saying something. Uh, so the House Wine Rosé, 375 milliliter can. It's about $6.99, $7.99, maybe a little bit more. Um, it is just something easy to drink, guys. Let's put it that way. This is going to be probably one of my canned wines that I'm going to recommend now uh, for a while. Anywhere you go, if you want something just kind of easy to drink, the House Wine Rosé. Um, now, what would this be good with? I mean, I could have this with just about anything, honestly. Um, so your classic rosé pairings are going to be, you know, your seafood, um, your summer salads. Um, you know, you could have it with some of your intense pastas like the Alfredo. You could have some spicy uh, pasta as well. Though this one isn't really have a lot of sweetness to it. So I would probably go with something that has a little bit more zing just because this would help kind of balance it a little bit more, like a little bit more of the tartness. So a, a lot of like lemon flavor, this would really kind of go well with it. Um, or if you're like me and you love rosé, you just drink it straight. This is awesome. Or this would go really good with something salty, like maybe some popcorn. Um, like some nice buttery, salty popcorn. This would be really good with it. So, thank you guys for joining me on my Wine Wednesday slash can series on can wine, the house wine rosé. Thank you guys for joining me on Instagram. I see that I had about four people join and I love you so much for joining me. I will continue to try to do live on Facebook and now Instagram. Um, let me know what you guys think. You know, do you like this wine in a can? Do you like it with a straw? Do you like it poured out? What do you guys think about our house wine rosé in my can wine series? And do you have a wine that you would like me to do next time for Wine Wednesday? Please let me know. Alright guys, thanks for joining me. Cheers!